TLDR version of this video, the same volume of muscle weighs more than the same volume of fat. And now for the long version, and I'll start this one with a question our class got from our physics teacher in the fifth grade right on the first day of school. And it was, what weighs more, one pound of feathers or one pound of steel? Now I'll give you a moment to think about this. And I'll then show you the complicated mathematical equation to solve this. Here it is. If you didn't get it right, don't worry, we can easily explain this through learning about volume and density. And to explain these two, I took one of our living room cushions here, weighed this with our kitchen scale and found out it weighs exactly one German pound or 500 grams. And one German pound and this cushion is the same as this little plate here. And without a doubt, you'll see that this plate here is much smaller than that cushion. Now, how can that be? Because inside this cushion, there are feathers and around these feather, feathers, there is a lot of air and air weighs next to nothing. While inside the plate here, of course, there is very, very little air, very little room. And this is why this plate is so compact. All its body is practically metal, while a lot of the body of the cushion here is in fact air. Now when it comes to muscle and fat, muscle goes more into the direction of this plate here, meaning inside muscle there is less empty space, while inside fat there is more empty space. So fat goes more into the direction of the cushion and the muscle goes more into the direction of the plate. And all this means two important things for you. Number one, if you're trying to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time and to try to measure this with your bathroom scale, then it might happen that the bathroom scale tells you the same number as three months before because the bathroom scale can't tell that in fact you gained 10 pounds of muscle while you lost 10 pounds of fat. The only way to find that out would be by measuring your body fat or by noticing that there is a bit more room in your old pants. And number two, this is also because uh, why uh, women don't have to be afraid of bulking up because muscle takes less room than fat. This can mean that a 150 pound um, woman who has more muscle mass inside her body weight is actually looking slimmer than a 150 pound woman who has more body fat and less muscle. I hope this cleared things up about this a bit. As always guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.